So Atom have just released a new plugin that allows you to have a vertical scene and a horizontal scene in OBS at the same time. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download it, install it, set it up, and have it running in a matter of no time. So first you're gonna to wanna to head over to Atom.tv, click vertical plugin, it will take you here, and here it is. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're on OBS 29 or later, otherwise this isn't gonna work. You're gonna click download, you've got Windows versions or Apple version, I'm gonna click the Windows version, I'm gonna open up the installer. You wanna make sure that you haven't got OBS open, otherwise it's not gonna install. You wanna click install, and there we go, that's done. Now you're gonna to wanna to open up OBS. So now we've got OBS open, we've now got a vertical scene on the right hand side, and we've got vertical scenes and vertical sources down here. So what we're gonna do first is add the vertical scenes like we would usually, click the plus icon down here, and we're gonna do the just chatting one. Just to note, you can't name it the same as the just chatting one, so you wanna put vertical after it, click okay and then we're gonna add the gaming one. And then click OK. Now what we're gonna to wanna to do is add our vertical sources. So we'll click on plus here for the just chatting. We're gonna add my camera and we're gonna go on vertical capture device and then click camera. There we go. We wanna resize that. There we go. Then we're gonna to switch to the gaming vertical scene. We're going to add the camera as well. Going to want to resize this. Then we're going to want to add uh, my game source. So we want game capture, game capture. Here we go. We've got Call of Duty here. And there we go. That's done. The other thing that we want to do here is actually link these to our horizontal scenes so that when we change scenes, it will actually change the vertical scenes as well. So how we do that is we right click gaming vertical, go on link scenes and we select here as gaming, it was already linked. And then we do the same here for the just chatting one, link scenes, Tick, click that as just chatting. So then when I move from just chatting to the gaming scene, it will also change it on the vertical scene. And so just before I move on to the settings on the vertical scene, I did actually interview Mr. Greggles, who is part of the team that built this plugin a few months ago. Um, so I'll link that somewhere above for you to go and check out, really appreciate it. And if you do like it, uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, so yeah, let's move on. Let's go to the vertical settings. We want to click this one down here. You've got general, you've got 1080 by 1920. That could say the same video bit rate, audio bit rate, whatever you usually put. And so the backtrack bit here is the important bit. This is how kind of far back you want your clips to record. So I've got mine to 90 seconds here. You can choose the recording path and then the hotkey. So what that will mean is when I'm playing my game or on stream, if there's just been a funny moment or a good clip, I'll press F4 and it will clip up the last 90 seconds into that folder. Streaming, uh, this is where you wanna just put in your stream key if you've got one for TikTok, but I know a lot of people don't have those. They're not giving them out anymore, unfortunately. So I think you'll have to still use TikTok Live Studio. And then recording, this is if you also want to record the whole of your stream in vertical format rather than just doing 90 second clips. And then again, you change the folder path there. So you want to click OK. And so just to show you how this would work, once the backtrack is turned on and it's blue, all I would have to do is uh, either click it or press my hotkey, which is F4, and it will then say backtrack saved. If I want to start recording the whole of the vertical video format, I would just click on here and that will record the whole video. Um, but you may not want that depending on storage. It's essentially working exactly the same as the replay buffer. I'm sure a lot of people have already used that. It's essentially doing the same thing there. And so based on me taking a clip there, I can then go into that folder, open this up, and you can see there it's got in the format that I want. And so yeah, that's it really. I am aware there are a few bugs with it. Um, and I know that the team are actively working on trying to fix those. They did a very small user group testing before launch and now they've got about 15, 20,000 people using it. So if you do find that there are bugs, please be patient, go into their discord, raise the bug and hopefully they should fix it. And so yeah, I hope it's as easy as it was for me to set up. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, drop them down below and I'll try and help out. But yeah, if not, Hope you have a nice day and enjoy the rest of your week.